installing store bought doors. Okay, if you have to do it the way I'm doing it, um, the, you know, so I haven't cut the hole in the side yet because I didn't have the doors yet, so I went ahead and got as far as I could get. Now, when you get the doors in, and you think, oh, okay, um, I'll lean my door up. I'll lean my door up against here. Trace it out. Well, that'd be good, but the thing is, don't forget, do not forget you have an overhang. Well, let me turn it out this way, I'm sorry. Have an overhang here on the bottom, which is going to go up against your side. See the side right down here? It's going to go right up against that side and hang down a little bit for a good seal. So that is a half inch. So here's a piece of half inch material. You see that? How much it hangs down? Right, don't forget. So telling you is if you hastily say okay I'll just lean this up against here and I'll, and I'll trace it out and everything will be good then you'll be a half inch too high because remember you got a half inch of material metal that hangs down I'm sorry you have a half inch of metal that hangs down so you can't just you, know, you Put it up against there and trace it, but don't forget you're going to be a half inch too high. And if you do that, don't forget to let's say it comes up here like this. Don't forget to drop that down a half inch and retranspose your radius for the corners of your doors. But honestly, what would be the best thing to do is make you an absolutely perfect pattern. Down straight, lane, straight across here. And some people think, oh, you know, why couldn't I just use this trim, which goes on here? Well, if this trim was perfect, you could. But this is the way it came shipped. See how much that's up right there? And then we can spend some time and re bend that and possibly mess it up. The best thing to do is don't try, try bending that back until you get the door in place and you got somebody holding the door and you're screwing it together. So what I'm telling you is if this were a perfect piece, you could lay it here. Look at that. And you trace it out. Or you're saying, why are you cutting it from the inside? Well, from the inside because I want it to be exactly perfect as I can possibly get it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to have to bind up something up. I'll be a little too close. Okay. Uh, now you can set this here and put that right there at the edge there. And down here at the edge and trace it out here, which would be in a perfect world, that'd be the, the best way to go if this were straight. This is not straight, this is bent. So, favor. I know it's exciting. You just got your door. Can't wait to get it installed. Get you some material, whatever it might be. If it's a piece of quarter inch or five eighths or cardboard, whatever. I mean, you have to deal with that, but lay it on here. And then, you know, you'll have to trace it from the other side. Just make you a pattern of this, the exact pattern of this coming right along here. And you can set it down from the inside, cut it from the inside, or you can come back to the outside and make sure that, you make the mistake, do not make the mistake. Let's say this is your pattern, and play like the, these corners are radius. Um, and you go set the door. Don't set it all the way down here, then you be have to cut it again because you're being now you'll be a half inch too low and it won't fit in there. 
So if you're going to cut from the outside, make sure you've come flush with your foundation. Because this door will sit on the foundation. All right, that's a quickie on the door installation. I want to get my patterns cut. And then, uh, I actually, uh, I've already made my pattern. Uh, and uh, once I double checked and triple checked it, you can see where it's drawn on that wall by those really cool knots. Uh, and drawn on this wall, all I got to do is cut them out. And I measured it, like I said, three times. And checked it three times because so far the build's going along really good. I got nice tolerances on where my interior trim meets the walls and the ceilings. There's no mistakes so far. I've been lucky. All right, thanks for watching. Hang in there. This is the 5x8 Benroy Modified.